Proceeding on to the next question, that is your question number 28. What statement about alpha particles, beta particles and gamma radiation is true? Right? So we know that gamma radiation is actually a form of light, whereas beta particles are actually particles, right? So that means light always travels faster than any particle, right? So the correct option to your question number 28 will be option number A. Gamma radiations always travel faster than beta particles in vacuum. Why? Because gamma radiation is a form of light which is always the fastest compared to any particles compared. Now proceeding on to your question number 29, it says that it's an interesting question. So you have been given four of the energy states, right? E1, E2, E3 and E4. Okay. And the transition between any two states is possible. Okay. So what is the shortest wavelength of the radiation that can be emitted from these four states? Okay. So when a particle jumps from one energy state to the other energy state it releases energy right and that energy is given as delta e is equal to your h nu okay so what is nu nu is the frequency okay and it can be further reduced as nu can be written as that is the frequency can be written as c by lambda where c is the speed of light and lambda is the wavelength emitted right so from here i can write that delta e is equal to your hc by lambda okay so that means lambda that is the wavelength emitted when the transition is being so what is lambda lambda is the wavelength emitted when there is the transition from one state to the other state so that is one energy state to the other energy state so this is equal to your hc by delta e okay so now what do we want we want the shortest wavelength right so that means for the shortest wavelength right for lambda to be the shortest delta e should be the maximum right so why because when the denominator is maximum the numerator is minimum right so that means delta e is maximum it should be maximum right so that means delta e should be maximum right now what is delta e delta e is actually your final energy minus of the initial energy right so now we want the final energy minus of initial energy to be maximum right so where is the maximum when the particle jumps from e1 to e4 it will have a much larger energy difference right rather than jumping from e1 to e2 or from e1 to e3 right because the energy difference between e4 and e1 is the maximum right and for shortest wavelength we need maximum change in energy right so delta e would be equal to your what e4 very good e4 minus of e1 so lambda from here would be equal to your hc divided by e4 minus of e1 okay i hope you got the question the answer to this is option number a